Since changes to smoking laws 10 years ago banning smoking indoors, cigarette litter has become more of a problem. In response, the Dunedin City Council has set about illustrating what weekly cigarette waste looks like in Dunedin. And while the spotlight's on gum and cigarette waste, roading maintenance engineer Peter Standring says it's part of a wider issue. We're not really picking on smokers or anything like that, but just on something as small as a cigarette butt or some gum does cause, issue, cause issues. And if you're prepared to do that, you're prepared to throw other rubbish. So we're just sort of picking on at the high level, really. Additionally, the council displayed a brand new street sweeper in action, showing the public the work that's done while most people sleep. We do most of the cleaning between 3 and 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, some heavy nights in town here sort of thing, there's uh, a fair bit of mess to tidy up. But it's the new cigarette bins that are the key focus. Staff say the response has been great so far, with bins going to more than 70 local businesses in the last few days. And it's hoped the bins will reduce the number of butts dropped in Dunedin streets each week. People don't think of gum or cigarette butts as litter, but both of them are, and cost to the city is huge, but really make, make the city look really ugly. For now, businesses are responsible for disposing of the bin's contents, but recycling company TerraCycle is working on a program to collect and recycle the cigarette butts into industrial products, with any remaining tobacco composted. Thompson says the plan's expected to launch in the new year. The idea is that you'd fill a, a bag or an envelope full of all the bin uh, butts and then they get sent in and they get um, recycled into something and there's a donation that goes to your favourite charity for that as well. The DCC is one of 13 councils throughout New Zealand to have implemented the bin campaign. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.